body of a 155 cm tall white female was found on the foreshore of Loose Bay on the 24th of January 1973. She was between 44 and 55 years old and of a medium build. She was discovered wearing a green tweed overcoat, a brown cardigan, a polo net jumper, a blue and mauve dress with patch pockets and brown buttons, a Vadonis cotton vest, a black slip, brown tights, a Highlands and Ireland tweed overcoat, a pair of gloves and a gold wedding ring on her third finger of her left hand. It is believed she had been in the water for 7 to 14 days. Number 7 on the 28th of March 1973, the body of a 163 cm tall white female was found on the foreshore of Solway Firth. She was approximately 40 years old, of a large build and was lacking some teeth. She was found wearing a pink St Michael's dress, a blue fleece lined raincoat and four rings. Three of the rings were 9 karat gold and the other was a 22 karat gold wedding ring. It is believed she had been in the water for between 6 and 8 weeks. She was noted as having partial upper and lower dentures. Number 6 The body of a 155 cm tall white female was found washed ashore at Loose Bay on the 21st of October 1976. She was approximately 55 years old and of a large build. She was discovered wearing a pair of blue pyjama trousers and a 22 karat gold wedding ring. It was believed she had been in the water for between three weeks and two months. Evidence indicated she had never given birth. Number 5 On the 26th of October 1977, the decomposed body of a 165cm tall male was found on Arkhamout Beach. He was between 20 and 30 years old and of a medium build. He was found wearing a pair of blue jeans, a plain leather belt with a broad square silver coloured buckle, a pair of blue woolly jockey style underpants, a pair of black socks and a size 8 brown left boot. It's believed he had been in the water for between 3 and 4 months. Number 4 the body of a 163 cm tall white male was found in a hay shed on Rockhall Mains Farm on the 24th of May 1978. He was aged between 50 and 60 years old, of a thin build with grey collar length hair, blue coloured eyes and had long sideburns. He was found wearing a green checked casual jacket, a brown and grey checked jacket, a white shirt, a brown checked peak cap, a white polo net jumper and a blue short sleeve pullover, a pair of green casual check trousers and a pair of seven and a half black shoes were found near the body. A pair of glasses and a glasses case was found in his possession. It is believed the man had been a vagrant and had died of natural causes. Number three. On the 22nd of November 2006, the decomposed body of a 152 to 165 cm tall white female was found on the beach at Port Logan. She was between 30 and 50 years old, of a thin build and was lacking some teeth. She was found wearing a pair of size 10 bay trading black trousers, a light coloured BHS bra which was a size 34C a pair of ladies light coloured underwear and a pair of tan coloured tights. It is believed she had been in the water for up to six months. Number two. The body of a 177 cm tall white male was found hanging from a tree within the Burnside Plantation on the 20th of December 2010. He was between 40 and 55 years old, of a slim build with a bold head and had some facial stubble. He was found wearing a green hunter's hat, a pair of white heavy duty gloves, a brown cardigan and a pair of dark ankle boots. A Swiss army knife and an Italian newspaper were found on his person. It is estimated he had died around the 13th of November 2010. Number one. On the 9th of August 2017, the decomposed body of a 16 to 45 year old female was discovered in the remote bay of Port and Corkery. 
She was between 150 and 160 centimetres tall, of a slim build with long dark coloured hair. She was found wearing a pair of black socks with maroon stripes, a pair of size 10 Primark black skinny jeans, a black bra and blue underwear which had a Harry Potter logo on them. If you have any information on any of these cases we've covered, then please visit missingpersons.police.uk forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash case hyphen search forward slash m2b64. Thank you.